Okay, everyone. So now we are learning a Windows application by which we are going to find out the grade of the student. And here we are using the if else. So we will apply that how to use the if else into the .NET. So first of all, we have started with the project, and that the name we have given is the grade. Now we know that the student is having some of the marks. So first of all, I am dragging and dropping a label here. Let's say we are taking a subject here. Now the subject name I am mentioning that C programming. So this is a C programming is our first subject. Now I am taking a, let's say another subject here. So the name of subject I am giving let's say that is object oriented programming. Now I am clicking back. So you can see that object oriented programming. Now afterward, I am taking another subject, let's say Python. So P-Y-T-H-O-N, Python. Now afterward, we are taking another subject, let's say PHP. So these subjects I have taken, so PHP. So these are the subjects. Now I want that these subject marks should be entered by the user. So I am just adjusting it so that I can drag and drop some text boxes. So here I am going and checking out the text boxes. So first text box I am taking in front of C programming. This is text box 1. Then going to take the next text box, text box 2, text box 3 and text box 4. So these are the four text boxes we have taken. Now I am clicking them to align. Let's say I am pressing the control and selecting all. Then afterward going to the format. Then horizontal spacing or the vertical spacing. We know that they are vertically so make equal. You can see that their spacing is equal. Now as per it I will just align this also. So this is now aligned. Now. Afterward, what we are going to do, let's say we are going to push a button here. So I am just again extending it. Now I want that I should be taking a button. Now what is this button doing? This is a button which is calculating the average. So I am just putting the average. Or you can simply give the name right click. So it is totally up to you which name you provide. Now after clicking on that, I want that there should be some text box where I find the percentage. So I am just dragging and dropping another text box here. So there is one more text box which I am taking in the same alignment. And here I am putting one more label as well. So this is one label. So here I can simply provide what is the A grade, B grade or what. So based upon the percentage I will provide the grade. So let's say the name I am giving is the grade. So this is our form which is ready. Now we can just close it error window so that we can have a complete look of the form. Now afterward I just want that this form should be having some name. So on the properties I am giving the name. I am giving my name here. So if I just start this project we can see that it will start in a couple of seconds and afterward we will be having a feel of this window now here we have to enter let's say some marks so we will enter some marks and afterward we want that if I click over there now grade will come we want that there should be a range let's say between 80 and 90 a grade 60 to 80 B grade 40 to 60 C grade or otherwise normally pass so on clicking of this button I want to do the coding so I will be going back, closing this project. Now clicking on this uh, click button, so double click over there. You can see that this is the coding of button. Private means it is the part of form and it cannot be accessed outside. Public means it can be accessed outside. So this coding is generated by the .NET. So on the button click, we are going to code. So first of all, we should know there are one, two, three and four. Four text boxes are there with the name text box 1, text box 2, text box 3 and text box 4 means 4 subjects marks will be taken by these text boxes. So here in the coding we are first of all declaring few variables 
let's say we are saying dim a comma b comma c comma d so these are four variables which will be taking the values from the text boxes as double because we know that marks can also be in points that's why we are giving them the double now afterward we want that in a we will take the value from the first text box so text box one dot text means whatever in text box one we are writing we know that this is text box one whatever user write here so text box text will be going but we are dealing with the numeric values so we are putting a val function before that so that text is converted to numeric and afterwards stored to a so text box one text is taken converted to numeric and stored to a so similarly we are taking for b is equal to val from text box two dot text so from text box two we are taking the text converting to value and storing to a similarly for the c c is equal to val text box three dot text so text box three value is taken then afterward d is equal to first we are taking the val then text box four dot text means from the text box four we have taken the text converted to value and stored to the d now afterward we want that their percentage should be calculated so that means we need one more variable so per now till now we know that these four text boxes data we have taken and stored to the variable a b c d now per which we have declared percentage that is equal to in the bracket we are saying sum of all subjects a plus b plus c plus d then divide by we are assuming that these subjects are of 100 marks so four subjects means 400 so dividing with 400 into 100 so that is giving us the percentage so here we are having the percentage sum of all subject divided by the complete marks into 100 so here we are having the percentage right now now here what you can do let's say you want to display the percentage to the user you can put a message box here let's say message box afterward let's say you are saying percentage so percentage afterward you can put let's say the column then afterward we know that and operator is the concatenation operator then per so that we have closed now what is the meaning of that it means the percentage we have calculated we are showing to the user with the help of message box let's say i am running this program now what is going to happen afterward let's say i am entering some marks 98 then 67 then 56 then 99 now click over here you can see that percentage is 80 okay i want that the grade should also come and this grade should be calculated with the if else so now we are doing that we are closing it and going back to the button coding so now the percentage we are going to apply this if else so let's say we are writing if so we know that if is a conditional statement that means if i am applying five if so out of that only one will work so this is a decision making means out of multiple we will select with the one so if percentage is let's say we are having greater than or equal to 80 so percentage greater than or equal to 80 then we press enter you can see that automatically then is applied so if then end if in the earlier C programming, C++, we know that we apply brackets, curly brackets, start and end, so that we know there is a block. But here, if is having the end if, and if then. So this is automatic, the syntax of .NET. So if percentage is greater than 80, then we want that in this text box, text box 5, we want to add on the grade. So what we are doing here, we are writing, let's say text box 5, dot text is equal to let's say if the marks are very good means the percentage is greater than 80 so we are saying it's a a grade so here we are applying a grade now afterward we are pressing enter it is not only for 80 we want that there should be multiple ifs should be applied 
So first of all, we are testing this program here. If I run this now, let's say if I am having the marks very good, 98, then 88, 99, 78. Click over there. So 90% marks are there and the grade is here. But let's assume if I change the marks, let's say I am first closing this project for the more understanding. I again run it. So let's say if I say 12, marks are very less, 43, 23, 12. If I click here, the percentage is 22%. Grade is not coming because you can see that I have only applied for the greater than. So that means we can also provide the else part. So here with the if we are having the else also, so we can apply else. Now in the else, let's say I'm saying text box five dot text is equal to Let's say everybody else is the pass. So here we can mention only pass, okay, for the better understanding. Now you can test this. If I provide here some input, which is less than 80. So any marks less than 80 will be falling in that criteria. So click percentage 36, so grade only pass. So this way we can apply the if else. Now we want that there should be multiple if applied let's say we are having some type of levels greater than 80 then afterward greater than let's say 60 then greater than 40 so that is done with the help of else if so we can say that else if you can see that automatically it is giving me the option so else if percentage greater than let's say 60 press enter automatically it is taken in the dotted, you should understand two things to learn. One is tab. Tab, if you click, it will automatically complete that phrase. If you press enter, automatically syntax will be provided. So you don't have to write everything like end if, then you don't have to write. Simply press enter. Now afterward, if the marks are greater than 60, marks means the percentage, then in the text box, we are saying text box 5 dot text that is equal to let's say we are applying the b grade here so b grade we have provided and again if i want to apply one more level let's say if i say else here then afterward percentage it is let's say greater than 40 then automatically pressing enter it is automatically coming with the then then text box 5 dot text that is equal to let's say C grade so here we have provided the different different levels now this is the if else if sequence if I run this program now you can see that if I am going into any of the range let's say 45 67 then 78 then again 89 click over there 69 so it is falling under the criteria of greater than 60. So B grade should be coming. I press OK, the B grade is coming. So this way I can apply the different different hierarchy. Now we are going to take another level into the if else. Let's say if I want to provide a range. So I am first of all closing it. Now you know that here we have given a single statement percentage greater than 80. But what if I say greater than 80? but let's say less than 100 because if anybody is giving the wrong entry it can exceed over there so i can also provide let's say if i am saying if percentage is less than equal to 100 then or we am saying percentage greater than equal to 80 so these are two statements this is the one statement one condition and this is the another condition so two condition i want that they should be fulfilled so percentage less than equal to 100 and i will apply and here and means the both conditions should be working together means percentage less than equal to 100 and percentage greater than equal to 80 means it is between 80 to 100 so that is first range let's say the second range i want to say that if percentage less than 80 and greater than equal to I'm applying here 60 so you can see that from 80 
to 100 this is the first range from 60 to less than 80 means 79 this is another range now I'm giving one more range here let's say else if percentage so PER that is less than 60 and so you can see that now there are three ranges which are available with us so any marks lying between 80 to 100 will be having a grade 60 to 79 will be having the B grade then 40 I am applying equal so from 40 to less than 60 that means 59 that is having the C grade otherwise only pass so here I will run this now I will check is it working properly now let's say if I am applying some certain inputs so you can see that I am applying here now click 66 66 is falling under the range 60 and 80 so it is B grade you can see that B grade is coming now there is one flaw in this program if I close this and if I run this again now let's say I am entering the wrong inputs 101 201 302 405 we know that marks cannot come more than 100 because I have assumed that marks upper bound is 100 click so 251 percent we know that it is wrong okay only pass what is that so more than 100 is not falling into this range as well as this so it is going into the else part which is wrong so for such cases we should be having one condition let's say on the top if I say I am just entering it I am writing here if percentage is greater than 100 then what we are saying we are saying that in text box 5 dot text let's say I am saying that is equal to wrong input that means you have not given the wrong input or you can simply say that enter marks out of 100 only okay so you can also provide here enter marks that is less than 100 so that you can provide you can see that other statement is giving us a false message so here I will complete it I will apply else if because now this statement is the part of else if so I click over there automatically it is aligned so here you can see that if any way anybody has entered marks greater than 100 so here it is the option percentage greater than 100 then it is showing you the options that enter marks less than 100 and all other options are given to you so this way you can provide or this condition even you can apply with the a b c d you can simply say that if a is greater than 100 then marks are wrong b is greater than 100 so this way you can apply so i am just clicking over there again i am putting some wrong entries 801 201 we know that these all marks are wrong click percentage 401 okay enter marks less than 100 so grade is not showing so this is how we can make this program or if i just provide you the right answer so right entries are 80 let's say 30 then afterward 23 or let's say 89 so i click over there you can see that percentage is 55 click c grade so 55 is lying between 40 and 60 so this is how we can apply the if else and multiple if we can provide into the dot net and with the help of that we can find the exact grade of the student.